Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think there is anything that is going to stop Babu Owino from succeeding Raila Amolo Dinga as the next Luo Kingpin. I don't see anything. Because Babu Owino is taking Luo Nyanza by storm. Earlier today, Babu Owino attended some burial ceremony in Rusinga in Homa Bay County. And then Babu Owino embarked on a tour. Let me just read for you what he posted. On a meet the people tour in Homa Bay Town constituency, Rangwe constituency, Karachunyo constituency, Nyakach constituency, Nyando constituency, and Kisumu city. Which means from Rusinga, Babu Owino decided to take the road. Because from Rusinga, you go to Homa Bay Town, you go to Rangwe, you go to Karachunyo, you go to Nyakach, you go to Nyando, then Kisumu. And the reception was fantastic. But is there anything that is going to stop Babu Wino from succeeding Raila Mulodinga? That is the question which I want us to figure out in this video. But before you do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because, of course, without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, is there anything that is going to stop Babu Owino from succeeding Raila Molodinga as the next looking pin? If you ask me, I don't see anything that is going to stop Babu Owino. Those who are opposed to Babu Wino are alleging that because of Babu Wino's age, he's still not ripe to succeed Raila Murudinga. Sometimes you just need to go back to the history. You all know that Tom Boyer died at the age of 35. <laughs> Was Tom Boyer not ripe to succeed 
Mzee Kenyatta as the next president of the Republic of Kenya. They are also saying that Bobo Wino's brand of politics cannot allow him to succeed Raila Odinga. Bobo Wino just needs support and mentorship because his brand of politics actually mirrors those of Raila Odinga's when Raila Odinga was still young. The best thing they are saying is that Bobo Wino probably cannot be accepted as a pure Luo. These are the same people who branded Raila Odinga as a lawyer. But I don't want to get into that for now. I want us to focus on the event of today. What message do you think Babu Owino was trying to send to anybody who cared during the tour of uh, Homa Bay, Rangwe constituency, Karachuonyo, Nyakach, Nyando, and Kisumu? For me, Babu Owino wanted to send the following message. Number one, he was gauging the ground. How was the ground going to receive him? How was the ground going to receive him? The truth of the matter is that from the photos which have emerged, from uh, the videos which we've seen, ground in Mukubali, and the fact that ground has accepted, it means that Babu has sent a coded message to anybody who cares. I don't know his plans, but I'm projecting that moving forward, Babu we know will start making those kinds of visits. From Luonyaza, probably Babu Wino will try to go to Western. From Western, he might go to coastal region. From coastal region, Babu Wino, you might see Babu Wino in other ODM strongholds. Because that's how you take leadership. In fact, today I was going through some opinion poll on, uh, on, on, on Twitter. And someone had uh, asked and gave at least well, only five names of individuals who can succeed Raila Morodinga as the next ODM. Not even Luo Kingpin. The next ODM leader. Bobo Wino actually emerged the winner. He defeated even Joe. And I was shocked. So Bobo Wino was gauging the ground. And the ground has accepted. I remember as a young boy, when Dalu Ndinga was uh, trying to fight with Omalwa, I think I was still in primary school, I would go and see around. Yeah? I would see, I, I'd, I'd, I'd sneak to Sondo whenever they were passing. And really just used to walk around. People like Adomo were still very young people. Very youthful people at those times. Number two, Bobo Wino is also sending a message, a very strong message, to the ODM old guards. Because ODM old guards don't want Bobo Wino, especially to succeed Raila Murudinga in Dunyanza. And he's sending a message to them. Because I remember, was it uh, yesterday? Opio Wandai, Anyang Nyongo, Orengo, all these other guys who were in uh, Migori. I think they had been invested by the governor there. Where I think Jimmy and Jig was also present there. And you can't even compare the kind of reception they received to this one of Baba. So Baba Wino is sending a message to these old guards. Because I also remember John Buddy, I think in Rangwe over the weekend, during some burial there, he also made some statement that some people who cannot even attract a crowd of 100 people in Torkana, Wanasema, they can succeed really Odinga. I don't know who he was addressing maybe one day, maybe Joho, maybe Oparanya. But I thought that Babu Wino is the only leader in ODM party, maybe from Joho, who can attract serious crowd into Okara. Tell me any other person apart from Raleigh Odinga. <laughs> so Babu is sending a message to the old guys. Number three, Babu Wino's strategy is also simple. Babu is trying to force himself on the table. Because nobody is going to draw a seat for him on the table. There's a table already there. People are seated. Or people are planning to sit on the table. There are six seats. But then you can squeeze a seat there. That is what Babu Owino is trying to do. And I can tell you, the day these guys will share a podium with Babu Owino, after today, or when Red Odinga shall have succeeded, that's when they'll know. Because I don't think power is given. Power is never given. Someone told me how Raila Odinga and James Orengo. In fact, sometimes when I read or I hear people talking of uh, transition in politics, that all from Jaramogi, Luos have never. Someone told me that when Orengo wanted to win, to contest in Ogenya, those years, I think it must have been 70 something, Orengo, Raila, and some very youthful. Uh, people decided to challenge Jaramogo Gingodinga. Because Jaramogo Gingodinga was pushing for the former cabinet uh, 
secretary what was the name the, of the former minister for what what was the name he was a former mp for ogenya that's the person jaramogi was pushing so raila and the team ganged up and pushed for orengo and that's how they were able to forcefully plant orengo as a, as a young guy in ogenya that's exactly what babu owino is trying to do he's forcing himself no not giving this guy space and lastly I'm also convinced that Babu Owino is also trying to chart his own political path. Because if you if Babu Owino were to follow the ODM path or Raila Odinga's path, then there is no way he's going to succeed. He must chart his own path and just like he said, you will decide to choose to work with me or not. So he's trying to chart his own political path because all these other guys none of them is trying to chart his own political path. Baba Wino is getting outside there. You are seeing people like Omoshua now are joining him. Very youthful people, influential people joining his camp. So he's charting his own political path. And I can predict that any attempt to lock Babu Owino out of ODM is going to be counterproductive. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts. Until next time, this is Lima. Goodbye.